In my previous video, I explained the metal semiconductor contact and derived the current equation for the linear region of the MOSFET. Today, we will derive the current equation for the MOSFET in the saturation region. Okay, so let's get started. In our previous video, we saw that metal and the entire semiconductor create a short key contact at that point and it creates a depletion region. After that, if we apply a small VDS, then a current is flow through the N channel. We call it ID, right? And ID is linearly proportional to the VDS. So, if we increase VDS, then ID is linearly increased. We saw this one in our last video. Today, we will see in, if we increase the value of VDS, then what will happen? So, let's see here. This voltage is VDS. Okay. Here we take a semiconductor block, any type of semiconductor, in type or P type, doesn't matter. Here we take a semiconductor block whose length is L. Okay. That means R is equal to rho into L by A. Okay. And I ask you the resistance of this point. Then you can easily say R1 is equal to rho into L by 2 by A. That means R by 2. Okay. So the next question will be what is the voltage drop in this two point? Vx. What you all know? Vx is, is equal to the resistance in this particular two point R multiplied by ID. Right. So that means it will be Vds. Okay. And next question is the what is the value of Vr1? Then Vr1 is equal to R by 2 into ID. That means it will be Vds by 2. From these two equations, we can see if we if we go from the drain side to the source side, then the voltage drop is decreasing, right? That means if we take a voltage drop from source to drain, it will be how much? Vds. But if we take the voltage drop in these two points, the source and the middle of the semiconductor block, then the voltage drop will be Vds by 2. And furthermore, if we take the voltage drop in this one, where this is the L by 4, then what will be the voltage drop? Vds by 4, right? So from here, we can conclude that from in this semiconductor block, if we go from the drain side to the source side, the voltage drop will decrease. The voltage drop at the in, the, in this point, the voltage drop in this point will be how much? It will be Vds and the voltage drop in this point will be how much? Is 0. Okay. Now, let's go to the our MESFET circuit. So now we increase the value of Vds. Okay. So we already saw that the voltage at this point is Vds and voltage at this point is 0. Okay. So when Vds is very small, at that time the depression region is flat. Okay. And but now when we increase the Vds, when we increase the Vds, then the depression region will not be flat. Why? Last, in my last video, I told you the voltage across the depletion region V is how much? V is equal to VBI minus of VGS, right? And this is equal to Q into ND multiplied by H square divided by 2 in epsilon, where H is the height of the depletion region, okay? But at that time, the voltage is very small, so we neglect VDS. But now here, we increase the VDS, so we need to take VDS in our calculation, right? So, now the voltage drop across the depletion region in this point, in this point will how much? This will be VBI minus VGS plus VDS. This will be in the drain point. Okay, and at the source point, This will be how much? VBI minus VGS. Okay. As same as our last video linear region. Okay. So we can just write down here 
this will be q n d into h square divided by 2 into epsilon but here we, if we write down q into n d into h x square divided by 2 epsilon right here vds is what vds is positive right if the vds is positive from this equation if we compare hx that then what will happen hx is greater than is equal to h we can conclude this one okay so now let's withdraw the depression region in this point voltage is higher in this point voltage is lower so what will happen the depression region will gradually increase from source to drain okay so i just draw with the marker this will be depletion region okay so you understand why the depression region is increased in the drain region but the depression region is keep constant on the source region okay okay so this is the ultimate diagram for the depression region and the saturation region so now let's draw the iv characteristics of the misfit at the time we will take vgs is equal to zero and what we will do we will increase vds and we will see how the current looks like okay so I will just draw the channel okay as you know that we need to increase the VDS and the VGS this kind of thing so just draw the channel okay so this is a this is the end channel and here we have the source here we have the drain and here the metal contact here and we have the gate this is gate we have the voltages connected all of the gate to and source now when a metal connected with the semiconductor it will create a depletion region we already explained this one in our last video okay now if we increase the value of vds up to a very small portion then current will linearly increase current will linearly increase okay now we if we increase the vds furthermore then what will happen then the depletion region will start to grow start to increase okay so that means the current will but still you can see there is enough space sorry still you can see there is enough space for the current flow right but this channel this channel height is less than the last one okay so that means the resistance is higher okay so here if the resistance is r0 in for this one linear region then this resistance will be little bit this one we call it r1 okay then we can call it r0 is less than r1 as and uh, when we increase the vds little bit at that time the depletion region with this increased so the effective channel for the current flow is decreased so resistance increased okay now if we increase the vds furthermore then what will happen then depletion region will increase from this one to this that means resistance will increase furthermore and we call it r2 okay and this is this point so we draw in a different different color that will be easier for you okay and after that we increase the vds such that it increased to a max one okay that means we increase vds to the vds saturation at that point this one we call it a pinch up point okay there is a very small area for the current flow id okay 
So that means after this point, if we increase the VDS furthermore, what will happen? The for depletion region width will be constant. It will not increase furthermore. Okay. So that means the current will be constant. And this voltage is called VDS saturation or we can call it V pinch off is a VPU. Okay. So this curve is for VGS is equal to zero. Now, if I ask you a question, what will happen if we increase the VGS to positive voltage? Then that means last time VGS is equal to zero. Now we increase it to plus one volt. What will happen? Let's remember the voltage equation for the depression region. VBI minus VGS plus VDS is, is equal to QND H square divided by HX square divided by 2 into epsilon. Okay. We take here the max one. Okay. So now see VDS is constant. Okay. What we need to do? We need to increase the VGS to the positive voltage. Right. If we increase the VGS, then this total part will decrease. As a result, the depression region width will decrease. If the depletion region width will decrease, then the area for the current flow will increase. If area will increase, resistance will be decreased. Okay. So that means we will get the similar type of curve, but it will be a little bit higher. This will be for VGS is equal to plus 1. And for this one, this will be VDS set. Okay. Similarly, if we decrease the VGS to minus 1, then what will happen? This will be decreased. The current will be decreased. This will be for VGS is equal to minus 1. And then this will be VGS is equal to minus 2. So now I think you understand this is the this area is the linear region okay and this area is the saturation region so now from this plot you can understand the current, the MOSFET current, output current ID is completely depend upon the VDS as well as the VGS, right? So if we increase the VDS, the current will increase. If we increase the VGS also, current will increase, right? So we need to calculate the current equation of this MOSFET by analyzing this circuit, okay? So this video is already too long. So we will derive the equation of the current versus voltage characteristics curve in our next video. In that video, we will, we will analyze the tapered shape of the depression region to calculate the value of the drain current. Thanks for your time. Please do share this concept with your friends. And if you like this video, please press the like button. It is really means a lot for me.